all right we are back we are back we are back guys part two part two you know ranking was about to finish up the people that he has been working with from starting his career from even before edna manley but these are the, the bands and artists he's worked with you'll explain right now yeah but it miss out a few you know before i want to be as precise as possible you know so um prior to that compre compre band really do a lot for me you know because i never mentioned that i have to big up mr matthews and you know the music program down there so really support any upcoming musician to actually make your dream be closer to a reality can't forget mr henry mr henry yeah, yeah man yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so coming from all of that, we wanna play at different hotels and we even did get a a, a silver most grade grave award. That are the second highest silver most grade award. The gold the gold one went to Louis Bennett. And it's, we got a silver one for fifty years uh, of um, musical service. You know? So we did honored for Dede and collect the award. With Mr. Matis and the whole current band, we were there. And that was a, the milestones too. After that, you know, my parents were musicians. So I was doing a little recording for my mother. She had a gospel group named Dynamic Gospel Ears. So I'm gonna record some tracks for them. And then, them time they start work with. Um, do some shows around Kingston, like play a one show for Rasai and play play some shows for Raya Blue. Um, what's that? Five Star, Garnet Silk Junior. Um, play for I saw a, a dancer artist before, on just a backing show, you know, kind of thing. Um, on a show that I think Jador and and Jarin and couple couple people, couple upcoming reggae artists there on that. Um yeah after that we really get into playing more at school, you know, like you have to do lunch or concerts and everything you know, yeah. help you and you know you publicize that and people come through and and thing. Then we start work with Jana and that gig now <laughs> Yeah, there's some mystical thing about me getting that work that no people even know. For one, I find out uh, when the audition day was, was um, I found out the audition day and the audition day. I never know about it. My phone did I get trouble them time there. And it's like a couple of my brothers them I say, yo, Jana, I audition today. I'm going to say, Jenna, you know, audition today? Oh, I'm going to say, hear about this. Because I'm going to say, this is an artist who even like two weeks before, I'm going to my, 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 my play some, I listen to my music. And I listen to a live show from her, and I'm going to say, oh, you know, sir, I think sir, my sound could have really enhance. merge and enhance. Fear, fear type of music because she she had played the type of music for me love. You see me? Dub roots, you know. It have it have a hint of jazz sometimes. But and we experiment cause even one day we make a we make a Afrobeat song. And you know, it just me really find comfort in you know, the the style and the energy of that group. You know? Yeah, so my virgin said, yo, forward, forward me at the audition. I said, all right. I'm going to go with him. Him teach me one of the roles them for the song. Um, and when we go, it's like they might ask each other whose name. And them say, um, what's your name? I said, Rankin. I said, you name Rankin? We have tried to call you long. Before the audition, the book. <laughs> and it's like, I some of my notes say, Literally, around the same time when we met that thought and manifest that out loud from that very day 
uh, around that time frame that's when they were trying to call me so in a way I kind of see that my words manifest like words powerful and just saying that that night and then shortly after bam you know that happened and it's a great chat since me there with them man you know I've been chatting all over earth you know we mentioned some of the place them before yeah man, really, really nice vibe with this unit, you know. Look out for it, Jana and the, and the dub treatment. <laughs> Look out, man. But yeah, even after that, no, personally, me I work on some projects, you know, me I tell you runners. And, you know, I can look forward for that. When I sleep, I have to put in the work and put out the projects and, you know, get the sounds where I can offer out there to the people ears for listen, you know? Yeah. You know, great talk, great talk, great vibes, you know. Ranking just giving us a brief background of the people he's worked with and the starting of his whole um musical content, you know. You know, he, you could hear, hear me, you know, buzzing like a cheerleader in the back when he was talking about Herbert Morrison, you know. <laughs> Shout out to Mr. Henry and Miss um Mr. Matthews. Um Miss Samuels that is my Samuels, hey, hey, hey. Miss Samuels, yeah. yeah. Miss Big up Miss Samuels, yes. We got Miss Samuels. Oh, uh, Miss Samuels. That somebody told me that your ass is right. It's very good, good shape. Somebody told me that Miss Samuels ass. Wow. Yeah. 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 She's a very shape lady. <laughs> Rocky says she's a very shape lady. Shout out to Miss Samuels, you know. We're here chilling. Shout out to Island Strains, you know what I mean? Yeah, We're sure here. Yeah, shout out to Island Strains, you know. There, yeah. But it's Goji. Yeah, Goji, Goji. You know what I mean? Ranking is hard to impress, so, you know, the fact that Ranking even mentioned them <laughs> and the strain is a big up. So, big up to Island Strain, you know. We're not new to this, you know. So, you know, big up the weed is, is you know, there's some truth. You know, they must have done something, you know. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. we're here chilling. I'm um, ranking, you know. You talked about many things as it really say your upbringing, why you started music, and everything. Where do no? My question is, you know, I think we're gonna wrap it up like that. My question is, where do you see yourself musically in the next probably like five to ten years, and what do you wish for music to be more of moving on to the future? Um, five to ten years, I see myself. Being a part of musical history, you know, um, my song would already have been out there, and and if it's good music, it it will do good, you know. So I I think it would it would have blown up and manifest a way that you know I I've always dreamt of, <laughs> you know, and um, you know just be established as an artist and be able to start to give back to the to the youth them and teach and them kind of thing there, you know offer myself of service um yeah for enhanced creatives in jamaica and me know the struggle so i always i gotta look for help and aid the upbringing in other industry yeah so me feel like those are some of the stuff I'll be doing in the next five to ten years, you know. Business stuff also. By that time uh, we talk about, uh, I have a dream to open a dispensary, you know. So yeah. So you can look over for that, you know. <laughs> and um, you know, as I said, what would you th- what would you want music to be more of, leading to the future? All right. Thanks. Thanks for the guy, the direction, you know? so, Yeah. So music. These days, I think it should be more of soulful melodies yeah. and, you know, instead of these digital kind of soulless vibes. Yeah. I mean, music-wise, you know, not even the lyrics as yet. Mm. That is a whole next thing you now. We may, may have to really observe and say that. The words, what they know the music right now, contradict the true meaning of life right now, my G, like people out here are focused on so much negativity and, and even some fool fool thing you know mm-hmm. foolish things you know and me always think say uh, 
music should car carry a message and have some sort of positive impact on people. So if it, it if if it if it has you doing dumb shit or it not really raise your your your, your meditation, you see me. And you have some tune out there where you just want to have fun and you dance and you just vibe to, you know. But let it be something of substance, you know, good music. Sure. So I really want to see good music come back around. More good music. Cause there's some good good artists coming out, you know. Even in our industry, you know. Chronic Spirit J, the whole reggae revival movement, Kabaka, you know. And even on an international level, you have people coming up with real talent. Instead of the mumbo rap thing, you know. <laughs> yeah, so more more good music this year, 2019. Great news, great news. I agree totally with ranking. By the way, in case nobody in this bitch thought I was gonna disagree, think again. I agree 100% with ranking. You know, ranking. You know, you talk about positive and true music. You know, that's why I'm a old school type of guy. You know, catch me listening to that 90s rap. And mm-hmm. killing it with the early 2000s R&B, you know what I mean? Uh, ranking don't be killing them. They, they don't even know. They don't even know. People reach up to the youngest them for much of the thing. Pro era. Yeah, shout out pro era, you know. Joy Badass, you know. Hey, hey well, let's not get into that. We're not gonna stop the list uh, if we continue. But you know, here you know we're here chilling. I think I'm gonna call this a chill box because ranking the whole time I talk we've been mostly smoking. You know, taking it easy. Chill box, you know, where, you know, where Island Strain, you know what I mean? Good spot. By the seaside. By the seaside, you know what I mean? You know, we're chilling and, you know, Ryan Kindred, um, tell us the social media pages where people can find you at. So, like, hmm, you know, Ryan Kindred, all this content, all this nice person out there hearing, they must say, hey, I need, I need, I need, I need to follow him. We need to see where to go on with him. So, you know, tell us, tell the people the social media pages. All right. So, you can, you can follow my thing and, you know, I always be up to date if you check Instagram, um, Facebook, um, and YouTube. So I, don't, I mostly use those three platforms right now. So you can find me at ranking.dread on um, IG. That's R A N K I N E dot dread. D R E D. And on Facebook, you can find me at Jonathan Dread Ranking Simple um, On YouTube you can find me at Ranking Dread Subscribe guys Subscribe, like, go through the content You know Yeah me, me share my views and things You know Some look a nice caption you know you can You can check out and <laughs> Yeah It's a very poetic person so I'm gonna put it out in like words then too you know So you can check it man. You know, make sure and guys don't click on that fucking YouTube page. Go through that YouTube page, watch those videos, classic videos from ranking and his and his performances and subscribe. Subscribe, subscribe. You know what I mean? Every subscription counts, every view counts, you know, to the movement of what ranking is on. You know what I mean? So this is the end of the interview ranking dread, you know. Oof. Sorry that the time had to come join in, you know very straightforward very straightforward interview getting the best of ranking from the struggles to being at the top that's the end you know catch us next time